a pleasant day STEM learners. This is Sir Peter, your statistics and probability teacher. For today's discussion, we will talk about the level of significance and the rejection region. So at the end of this video lesson, we should be able to illustrate the level of significance and the rejection region. So under the normal curve, the rejection region refers to the region where the value of the statistical test lies for which we will reject the null hypothesis. So this region is also called the critical region. So the region is separated by the critical value and that critical value is represented by these vertical lines. For a one-tailed test, such as this one, we have a right-tailed test. This, on the right tail of the distribution, located is alpha, and it represents where we reject the null hypothesis. If the vertical line lies inside the rejection region, then the correct decision-making is to reject the null hypothesis. However, if it is located on the non-rejection region, which is 1 minus alpha, so if the vertical line is located here, then the correct decision-making is to fail to reject the null hypothesis. For a two-tailed distribution, so in the middle of the distribution, this is where we um, fail to reject the null hypothesis. And if either the vertical line lies on the left side nor on this, um, right side of the distribution, then we will reject the null hypothesis. So that is how we decide based on the critical region or the rejection region. So note that also that the line that separates the rejection region from the non-rejection region is one minus alpha. So this line passes through the confidence coefficients, which are also called the critical values. The critical values can be obtained from the critical values table of test statistic. And here is the table. So for a two-tailed test, critical values are positive, negative 1.96 for a 95% confidence level. And for a 99% confidence level, we have positive, negative 2.58. However, the critical values changes whenever we have a one-tailed test. Say, for example, in a left-tailed, the critical values are negative 1.65 and negative 2.33 for a 95 and a 99% significance level, respectively. Now, if your alpha is 0 0.05 or a 95% confidence level with the critical value, which is 1.65 on the right, tail of the distribution. And for a 99%, we have 2.33. Let's have illustrative examples. What I mean if the given Z value is in the rejection region or in the acceptance region or the non-rejection region. So since we have a 95% confidence level and a two-tailed test, this is the illustration. So the critical value that we are going to use is 0 0.05, um, which is a positive negative 1.96. So plotting that here, so approximately positive negative 1.96 is located here. And then we could shade this part, this area, to indicate that this is R, the rejection region. And since Z is located at 2. So 2 is located somewhere here. So notice that 2 is inside the rejection region. Therefore, the correct decision making is to reject H sub 0 or we reject the null hypothesis. Okay, let's have the second one. Our Z is equal to 1. Um, with 95% confidence level, one tailed, right tailed. So this is our illustration. So since it is a right tailed distribution, let us grab the critical value of a 95%. So we will use this one, 0 0.05. And the critical value is 1.65. So approximately 1.65 is located somewhere here. 
then we shade the particular region. So this is our critical region and shade the vertical line. So the vertical line is Z is equal to one. So notice that the vertical line is located on our one minus alpha or in our non-rejection region. Therefore, the correct decision is to do not reject the null hypothesis or we fail to reject. H sub zero, okay? So that is how easy we decide using the normal curve model. Suppose we have Z is equal to negative 2.5 and a 99% confidence, one tailed, left tailed. So this is what we're going to use. 99% is 0 0.01, this one, with a critical value negative 2.33. So in here, um, negative 2.33 is somewhere located here. So let us shade our critical region. So this is where we reject the null hypothesis. So the vertical line is Z is equal to negative 2.5, somewhere here. So since the vertical line is located inside the rejection region, therefore, the correct decision is to reject the null hypothesis. Very easy, right? Again, this is Sir Peter, your statistics and probability teacher.